The Australian Lions Hearing Dogs trains dogs for the hard of hearing to help provide independence, confidence and security. They're also helping to save lives by mostly using shelter dogs. So let's go find out how they're trained. So Nick, what kind of skills does a hearing dog need to learn? So as they've got the same public access rights as guide dogs for the blind, mm -hmm. uh, they need to go through an intense socialisation program here, uh, which just starts with um, just your small dog walks and then builds up to um, going into shopping centres and uh, the bigger main streets. Yes. So at the same time, we'll be training the dogs to respond and alert their recipients to up to 10 household sounds. Mm -hmm. um, so that includes your alarm clock, your door knock, doorbell, your your phones, um, your baby cry, we mm -hmm. do a baby cry as well. Um, that's an important one. And uh, probably the most important one would be the smoke alarm. Of course. Um, but that's a bit different. Um, so what the dog will do will be to, to touch the recipient and then drop in a warning signal. Okay. Because uh, we don't want the dog running into the fire. No, definitely, danger, so. definitely yeah. not. What about the telephone? So the telephone, like the majority of the sounds, uh, is worked in three legs. Mm -hmm. So the first leg would be the dog finding the source of the sound, so mm -hmm. running to the source, yes. and then coming back and physically touching the recipient. And then the, the last leg would be taking the recipient back to the sound. Uh, yeah. So if it was a, if it was a telephone, they'd take them back to the phone so they yep. can take the call. Of course, call. and yeah. they know that's happening there. And you use positive reward training here. Yeah, and we, we use food on all of our in all of our training here. They all so, work yeah. well. So they've got to oh, be that, food motivated yeah, that, then. That's <laughs> one of the major parts of finding the right dog is they've got to be food motivated. They've got to love the food. Yeah. So what skills as a trainer do you need to have this job? Well, the majority of the trainers here have done the certificate in mm -hmm. dog behaviour and training through the National Dog Trainers Federation. Great course. <laughs> um, and that's, that's been excellent because it all puts, puts us all on the same page. Yeah. Um, we know what motivates the dogs um, mm -hmm. and gives us, gives us um, the information to tackle any behavioural problems as yes. well we may see. Um, a lot of the time, we'll, we'll, most of the time, we'll use um, rescue dogs okay. where we can. Yes. Um, and oh, yeah, wow. that, that, that that's really important <laughs> to understand behaviour then, doesn't it, and assess them. So where do you get the shelter dogs from? Uh, we go down to the RSPCA and the Animal Welfare League here locally, as well as um, other rescue organisations like the York Peninsula Puppy Rescue. Nice. Um, and we yeah, just try and find a suitable dog that'll, mm -hmm. that'll do well on the program. Okay, and what kind of traits do you look for? Uh, the, the scruffy little terriers are great. Ah, <laughs> oh, Darcy would yeah, you Yeah, <laughs> Darcy would be great. Um, yeah, just it, it depends on the um, depends on the application as to what size dog we'd, we'd okay. go for. But generally, a, a smaller, smaller, uh, yeah, like I said, a scruffy. A <laughs> I love little, the scruffies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you provide them free to the recipients, don't you? We do. Um, so that's all thanks to Lions Clubs of Australia. Mm -hmm. um, all the dogs, uh, they're valued at $35,000 at the right. end of their training. Yeah, it's not cheap. Um, and they go out as a gift thanks to Lions Clubs of Australia. Oh, wonderful. Well, if you'd like to find out more about the work of the Lions Hearing Dogs and how you can help, visit their website. And if you'd like to find out more and study the Certificate 3 in Dog Behaviour and Training, like Nick and I have, visit their website. Thank you, Nick. Thank now, you very much. Uh, has anyone told you like Jon Snow from Game of Thrones? <laughs> Yeah, get it every now and then. Do you? I haven't seen it, but apparently you do. Everyone uh, here. I haven't seen it, it either, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs>